example four. Determine the formulas for velocity and position if a is equal to 4 minus 2t plus 3t squared, and we know that v equals 10, s equals 4, and t equals 1, or when t equals 1. Okay, so I know acceleration, and so to find v, I'm going to take the antiderivative of my acceleration. So v is going to be 4t minus 2t squared on 2 plus 3t cubed on 3 plus some constant c. Then I will tidy this up. So this is equal to 4t, v is equal to 4t minus t squared plus t cubed plus c. And what do I know? I know that v is equal to 10 at time 1. So 4 times 1 minus 1 squared plus 1 cubed plus c. So negative 1 plus 1 is going to cancel those out. Remember this is in brackets like this, so it is a subtract 1 plus 1, and so that we get, therefore, c is equal to 10 minus 4 is 6. So now I know my velocity function, v is equal to, I'm just going to reorder this, t cubed minus t squared plus 4t plus 6. And then I can take the antiderivative or integrate this velocity function to find the position function. So s is equal to t to the power of 4 divided by 4 minus t cubed divided by 3 plus 4t squared divided by 2 plus 6t plus a new constant, which I will call d. Now there's not much to tidy up in here, um, and so maybe I'll just leave it like that and tidy it up as I substitute in. So what do I know about this function? I know that s is equal to 4 when t is equal to 1. So 4 is equal to 1 quarter, 1 to the power of 4, minus 1 third, 1 to the power of 3, plus 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1 squared plus 6 times 1 plus d and try and find this d value. So what do I have? I have 4 is equal to 1 quarter minus 1 third plus 2 plus 6, so plus 8 plus d. And when you tidy that all up, I'm running out of room here, D is equal to negative 47 on 12. We'll leave it as an exact value. Um, and therefore, S, the position function, is equal to 1 quarter T to the power of 4 minus 1 third T cubed plus 2 T squared plus 6 T minus 47 on 12. So we found our position function that it asked me to find, and we found the velocity function back here. Those were the two things we were asked to find. Give yourself a pat on the back if you were able to do that. Fantastic. All right, last question. Determine the equation of the curve y equals f of x that passes through the point negative 1, 0 and satisfies the differential equation dy dx is equal to 6x squared plus 6x. Okay, so just remember dy dx is the same as saying y prime or f prime of x, given that they're asking me to find y equals f of x, the original function is equal to 6x squared plus 6x. And then the negative 1, 0, that gives me my initial conditions to work with. I would know that x is equal to negative 1 and y is equal to 0. So I could write this with my integration 
uh, symbol. I could say that f of x or y, doesn't matter, would be equal to the integral of 6x squared plus 6x in terms of x. Okay, so using our notation from the 9.1 lesson to say what it is that I'm going to do. Okay, so let's take the antiderivative of this. So y will be equal to 6x cubed divided by 3 plus 6x squared divided by 2 plus some constant c. And that would tidy up to y is equal to 2x cubed plus 3x squared plus c. But we know it goes through, okay, we know this function goes through the point negative 1, 0. So I'm going to substitute that in to find my constant. So y is 0 when x is negative 1. So substitute those in and let's find c. So 0 is equal to 2 times negative 1 because negative 1 cubed is negative 1. So we have negative 2. Negative 1 squared is positive 1, so plus 3 plus c. So negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So that makes c equal to negative 1 when you move the 1 to the other side. And therefore, we have solved for the equation. This is like solving a differential equation. Therefore, f of x or y, whichever you want to write, is equal to 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1. Finny! And 9.2 is complete. We'll continue with this similar concepts in 9.3.